Hey, welcome to Kids Church. This month we have been talking about confidence. Confident is to see yourself the way God sees you. That's right, confidence is seeing yourself the way God sees you. Are you ready for a really good morning? We're gonna teach them a memory verse and watch the so-and-so show. Are you ready, kids? Hey kids, this is our memory verse we would love to share with you. Okay, one, two, three. Being confident is this. He who began good work will carry us until the cry of Christ Jesus. Okay, that was good, but we can do it one more time. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Being confident is this. He who began good work will carry us until the day of Christ Jesus. Philippians 1.6 It's time! DJ Daisy is back! Lights! Music! Dance! Come on! Dance with me! Woo. Brandon, do not be shy! You can come in now! I know he's out there, but he's waiting for me to turn off the music because he does not like the dance. No more hiding, Brandon. It's time to boogie. Boogie, boogie. <laughs> oh. oh! How did you? Once the DJ Daisy dance party begins, no one stops the DJ Daisy dance party. Hit it. Everybody, welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. I'm Brandon. Uh, and I'm sorry. What? Do you need something? Y yeah, it's your turn to introduce yourself. We're doing the show uh, right now. Oh uh, yes. Sorry, sorry. Hi, and I'm John. And you, we're so glad you're with us today. Can you get off your phone, please? Sure. No, I, what are you doing? Anyway. I, I'm playing the new Candy Smack game. Oh, it just man. came out last night. I've been playing for 72 hours straight. Yeah, we, right. Well, look, you seem a bit distracted, so if you could- Booyah! Whoa! I just smacked that candy. I just smacked up a level. Yeah! <laughs> All right, congratulations. Stop distracting me. I'm not the one being distracting right now. I, I forgive you. Just stop, stop talking. Oh. This could take a while. <laughs> Three hours later. Oh, I can't do it anymore. I can't oh, do it anymore. Great. You ready to do the show now? The show? Yeah. Right, right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do you see do you see candy floating around that needs to be smacked, or is it just me? It's just you. Oh good. Smack. <laughs> yeah, okay. Please welcome. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey, Sugar, welcome back. Smack. Hi. Huh? Uh, good to have you back, uh, Sugar. Thank you for coming. I'm glad you could visit while you were in town. Have a, have a seat. Thanks. <laughs> All right, tell us who you are and what you know. Seriously? I've been here before. You know who I am. No, no I, yeah, I, I know, who, but some, they may not know who you are, so. <sighs> My name is Sugar tilt -a whirl I work for the Thomason Traveling Carnival. I used to just be the cotton candy maker, but now I run games too. Games? That's what I said. I bet that's fun. The most fun you've ever had in your life. Wow. Smack. So, uh, what, uh, what kind of games do you run at your carnival? Carnival games. I see. Listen, the carnival may be all fun and games and cotton candy for you, but for us carnies, it takes a lot of work and focus. Got it? Yep, got it. Got it. Smack. 
I, you know what? I think we could use a little focus right now, actually. You, you got any carnival games that you could uh, teach us? Yeah, why not? <laughs> Star Wipe. This game is called Pick a Duck. All right, how do you play? You pick a duck. Okie doke. Ah! You have to give me a ticket first. Tickets, please. Pick a duck. Ah! Focus. Oh, yeah. Turn them over. There's nothing. You lose. Next game, Star Wipe. Wait, what? but... The ring toss game is a classic trickster. It appears easy but requires focus and attention. Only the bravest should attempt to step up to the ring toss challenge. Oh, oh pick me, pick me. <laughs> yes, you with the hat. Come on over. Okay. Tickets, please. Ow. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Hey. Focus. You didn't focus. Try harder. Be the ring, John. Be the ring. Be the ring. Be the ring. Let me try. <laughs> Two tickets. Oh, sure. Huh? Where'd you get those? <sighs> One. Here we go. And we have a winner! I did it! How? <laughs> what? Here's oh. a prize. I thought it would be bigger. They always think that. Okay, I, you know you know what? I'm ready now. I'm ready to focus, okay? What else you got? No. Huh? I also run the dunk tank. Yes! It's Bible story time with Kellen. Hey, Kellen. Hey guys. What do you have for us today, Kevin? Well, I've got a good one, but I'm gonna need your help. Yeah, I love helping. Sure. Great, because it's time for another live action flannel graph. <music> Jesus' disciple Matthew wrote about a time when Jesus told his disciples to go out in a boat on the Sea of Galilee. One of the disciples in the boat was Peter. All right, Peter, Jesus wants us to go. Let's get in the boat. Okay, catch you later, Jesus. Ah, 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 you yeah, first. Yeah, okay. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Ah. Hi. Here we go. After they left, Jesus went up on a mountainside by himself to pray. Later that night, the boat was already a long way from land. The boat was being pounded by the waves because the wind was blowing against it. Uh, ah, these waves are huge. Uh, how are we ever gonna make it through the night? <laughs> and then, shortly before dawn, they saw something on the water. A ghost! Oh! But it wasn't a ghost. It was Jesus walking on the water. He called out to them and said, Be brave. It is I. Don't be afraid. Lord, if it is you, tell me to come out onto the water with you. Come. Uh, hold on. Uh, uh, oh, whoa. Oh, wow, this is amazing. I'm walking 
of the water. But when Peter saw the wind, he was afraid. He began to sink. Lord, save me! Right away, Jesus reached out his hand and grabbed Peter. Oh, 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 help me! Oh, oh. Jesus said to him, Your faith is so small. Why did you doubt me? When they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. Then those in the boat worshiped Jesus. Jesus, you truly are the Son of God. The end. Thank you guys so much for your help. You're welcome. Sure thing. It's so amazing that Jesus can walk on water. Yeah, and what about Peter? What faith, what focus? It's true. When Peter was focusing on Jesus, he was able to walk on water. But when he got distracted by the storm, he began to sink. I feel like I do that sometimes. You walk on water sometimes? No, I mean, I feel like I get distracted by the, you know, storms of oh. life. It happens to all of us sometimes. But we just got to try and remember to stay focused on Jesus, especially during the storms. He's the one that can help us through them. That's awesome, Kellen. Thanks. No problem. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. Smack! Smack! What do you think, John? You ever get distracted? Me? Smack! No. Smack! Okay. Uh huh. Reveal the question! What distracts you from focusing on Jesus? That's a good question. It, it could be something big and scary that distracts you, like an actual storm, or it could be something like staring at a screen too much. <laughs> Stop that! Uh, sorry, sorry. Sometimes I, uh, I, I get distracted because I'm thinking about what other people might be thinking about me instead of focusing on Jesus and how much he loves me. Hmm. Good answer. See? I didn't focus. Good. Talk about it with each other. What distracts you from focusing on Jesus? And we'll see you next time. I'm Brandon. And I'm John. And this was the So-and-So Show. Smack! Smack! <laughs> Smack! Oh! That was uncalled for. I saw candy. Oh, oh, good, good, yeah. good, good. No, you're not. You're flaying a ling about. That's what I'm doing, what you're doing. No, you're okay. running in place and jogging. There you go. It's a good, it's good dancing. This is what parties are all about. The so-so show today was great. We learned to stay focused on Jesus. That's right, I loved it. And I want to leave you with a question that you can discuss with your family today. The question is, what distracts you from focusing on Jesus? Wow, so many things distract us from focusing on Jesus. This is such a great question. You know, we have Hope City Kids in person here in Fredericton, and if you live near us, we would love for you to join us. But if not, keep joining us here online. We hope you have a great week, and we'll see you again soon. Bye! Bye.